You've been steeping your herbs wrong this whole time. Let me save you some money and disappointment. Okay, so you've bought some fancy herbs, you're ready to heal naturally, and nothing's happening. Here are five herbs you probably are using wrong and how to actually get results. Number one, chamomile. You steep it for like two minutes, right? Wrong. Chamomile needs at least 10 to 15 minutes cover to release those calming compounds. That weak yellow water you've been drinking, that's just expensive flavored flower, flower flavored disappointment. Cover chamomile while it steeps so the volatile oils don't escape. You want that tea dark golden, not pale. Number two, turmeric. We're talking a lot about it lately. You're just throwing it in a smoothie by itself and your body's like, cool, I can absorb this, but turmeric needs black pepper and fat to actually work. The pepperine in pepper increases curcumin absorption by 2,000%, 2,000%. So add a pinch of black pepper and some coconut oil or olive oil or full fat milk, whatever floats your boat. Otherwise, you're just going to make expensive yellow pea. Number three, peppermint tea. If you have acid reflux or GERD, please stop drinking it. Peppermint relaxes your digestive sphincters. Always have trouble with that word, which is great for bloating, but terrible if you have heartburn, it will literally make it worse. So switch to ginger or fennel instead. Same digestive benefits, no reflux drama. Number four, echinacea. You're probably taking it after you're already sick for like a day and expecting miracles, but echinacea works best as a preventative or at the very first sign of symptoms. Once you're fully sick, it is too late, babe. Take echinacea at the first tickle in your throat and keep taking it for at least seven to 10 days. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Number five, valerian root for sleep. About 10% of people actually have a reverse reaction. It makes them wired and anxious instead of sleepy. If you took valerian and felt like you drank three espressos, congrats, you're in the unlucky club. If valerian isn't your thing, try passion flower or lemon balm instead. Not every herb works for everybody, so keep that in mind. See, it's not that herbs don't work, you just need to know how to use them. Dosage and timing and preparation actually matter. And I have to remind myself of that all the time as an herbalist. Which herb have you been using wrong? Be honest in the comments, there's no judgment. I'm not perfect. I have to remind myself all the time how to do it right. So I would love to teach you what I know and learn from you and answer any questions. Follow for more herbalism reality checks. Bye friends.